Hey everyone, today you will learn how to use Masterpage.js in your Wix Studio sites and write your first lines of code. By the end of this tutorial, you will code a solution that will hide or show a weather widget in the site's header and persist the user's choice across every page in the site. Masterpage.js is a file that you can use to write code that should run on every page of your site. This is a front-end code file, and any code you write here will be visible on the client. A common use case for Masterpage is to write code that affects parts of your header or footer, as these are global elements. And this is what you are going to do today. To get us started, I have loaded a pre-designed Wix Studio template with the Wix weather widget added, which you can find in the app market, a small button to close, and a hidden button below the weather widget that will show when the widget is set to not visible. We can see the structure a little better over here in the layers panel to the left. Now, to turn on dev mode, click the curly braces on the left-hand navigation, then click Start Coding. From the page code menu, click Master Page JS. First, we are going to write a click event for our button to show the weather widget. In your page on Ready, write a click event connected to the Show Weather button that will show the widget container and hide the Show Weather button. You can duplicate this click event to create a second click event, but update the ID to the ID of your close widget button. And inside the function body, show the show weather button and hide the widget. Now let's run the code to see what we have so far. This button works well, but my choice doesn't persist on each page, which isn't a great experience for my users. Click edit site to go back to the editor. At the top of the file, import local from Wix storage front end. We are going to use this to set a session key to be able to save the user's choice about whether or not they want to hide or show this weather widget while they're visiting our site. Inside the body of your onReady, create a show weather variable and set it to local.getItem with a key of show weather. If there is no session key, then that will return null. So let's create an if statement that says if there is no session key or if the session key value is set to false, we want to show the show weather button and hide the widget. Finally, in the click events, you will set the key value to true when show weather is clicked and false when the widget close is clicked. Now run your code. You can see that no matter how I set the widget, my choice persists across all the page navigation. Remember to like this video and subscribe to learn more about coding on Wix Studio.